Hello friends, so in this video I am going to solve problem on work. So in this problem, a fluid uh, contained in a horizontal cylinder fitted with uh, frictionless steel proof piston. A fluid uh, contained in a horizontal cylinder fitted with uh, frictionless steel proof piston is continuously agitated by means of a stirrer passing through the cylinder cover. The cylinder diameter is uh, 0.4 meters. During the stirring process uh, lasting 10 minutes, the piston slowly moves out a distance of uh, 0.485 meters against the atmosphere. The net work done by the fluid during the process is 2 kJ. The speed of the electric motor driving the stirrer is 840 rpm. Determine the torque in the shaft and the power output of the motor. So there is a, a fluid which is contained in a horizontal uh, cylinder fitted with a frictionless uh, uh, leak proof piston. Uh, so when it is continuously agitated by a stirrer uh, which is moved by a motor uh, the cylinder uh, which has a diameter uh, d equal to 0.4 meters so after stirring uh, the piston moves uh, by a distance of uh, 0.485 uh, meters and uh, uh, it takes uh, 10 minutes of time it takes 10 minutes of time to move a distance of 0.485 meters the net work done by the fluid during the process is uh, 2 kilojoules so, so w net is uh, 2 kilojoules the speed of the electric motor driving the stirrer uh, is 840 rpm. So here uh, N is 840 rpm. Determine the torque in the shaft and power output of the motor. So what is the torque that is uh, produced uh, by the shaft of the motor and also the power. So to find out the torque uh, that is produced by the motor we should find out uh, work done uh, by this uh, motor uh, on the stirrer uh, for 10 minutes uh, so so that can be calculated uh, using the formula uh, w stirrer and then there is we have uh, w piston and then W net. So here uh, W stirrer work done by stirrer is on the system so it should be taken as negative whereas uh, work done by the piston is uh, by the system that is equal to W net. So work done by the piston uh, there is uh, it is a diameter of uh, 0.4 meter and uh, uh, it has uh, moved a distance uh, let us take it as L as uh, 0.485 meters uh, then uh, the piston it is a displacement work uh, that can be written as uh, F into L but here uh, since uh, piston is uh, moving uh, against the atmospheric pressure so we can take uh, pressure as uh, atmospheric pressure that is uh, 101.325 kilo pascals kilo pascals so then uh, this f can be written as uh, p into a because uh, pressure is forced by area then force is p into a into length so here uh, pressure uh, uh, is uh, 101.325 into 
area is 5d square by 4 that is uh, point uh, 4 uh, square it is point 4 square point 4 square divided by 4 into length is 0.485 meters so here uh, the answer obtained is uh, 6.17 to have the units uh, I will uh, derive the units from uh, these uh, quantities pressure has a unit of uh, kilo pascals one pascal is kilo uh, newton per uh, meter square so this becomes kilo newton per meter square because it is kilo pascals into unit for area is meter square and unit for length it is uh, meter so here this meter meter get cancelled so this becomes kilo newton meter one newton meter is uh, joule so it is kilo joule so 6.17 it is kilo joules now uh, we have w net uh, that is uh, 2 kilojoules so let us uh, substitute uh, uh, these two values to uh, this equation so that we will have uh, stirrer work that is minus w stirrer plus w piston is 6.17 so this is uh, w piston so it is uh, 6.17 equal to it is w net is 2 kilojoules so here also it is kilojoules that is uh, piston work and uh, net work done is also 2 kilojoules so it can be done as it is so then this becomes uh, minus w stirrer equal to 2 minus 6.17 so minus w stutter is uh, minus 4.17 then uh, this becomes uh, since minus is there on both sides uh, uh, this becomes uh, uh, w stutter equal to 4.17 kilojoules so to have a stirrer work of 4.17 kilojoules uh, uh, the motor should produce a certain amount of uh, tar so that can be calculated like this w stirrer equal to 2 pi n into t so w stirrer is 4.17 equal to 2 into pi into n is uh, 840 rpm into and there is 10 minutes of work so 840 is uh, revolutions per minute 840 revolutions per minute but there will be 10 minutes uh, work is there so 840 into 10 into t so the t from this uh, is uh, 0 0.079 newton meter so this is the torque uh, that is produced by the motor uh, uh, that is applied by the motor to stirrer uh, to uh, have this work and to find out the power uh, we have a formula uh, p equal to 2 pi n into t divided by 60 so it is just uh, work done divided by uh, time taken so this is uh, 2 pi into n is 840 into t is 0 0.079 
divided by 60. So this is the work done per second. Work done per second. So that's why we have divided it by 60. So the power of that is uh, produced is 6.94 kilo back. So 6.94 kilowatts of power is applied on the stirrer by the shaft that is run by motor. So let us list the torque here. Torque is 0 0.079 Newton meter and this power is 6.94 kilowatt.